Hello there everybody, my name is Kenny Payone with Sanctuary Huntsville and today I'm going to be talking about how to print on wood. Uh, and it's a really simple process. All you got to have uh, are a few crafting tools uh, and uh, I'll show you what we need. So the first thing you're going to need is a picture. Now I'm using a picture of a, uh, a biscuit joiner that I have uh, in the carpentry shop. And uh, yeah, I just took a little picture of it with my phone, uh, did a little editing, brightened it up a little bit. And, uh, and then I'm gonna put it in Microsoft Word here in a split second. Um, you're gonna need uh, either a LaserJet or an inkjet printer. Uh, LaserJet works better, but you can still uh, do this with uh, uh, inkjet. You just have to have a specific kind of paper. So uh, I'm gonna be talking about LaserJet. Uh, LaserJet, and you need some like wax paper uh, or uh, like coated paper. Uh, I'm using label paper. Uh, I've seen people do it with uh, just regular paper, but you have to like get it, get the wood really wet and like scratch it off. And I'll kind of show you how that would work uh, here in a split second. But for this demonstration, uh, yeah, label paper, I've just taken off all of the labels and I'm gonna take it over to my printer right here. I'm gonna put it in. Close it up. And then I'm gonna print uh, my image on the entire sheet of paper. Okay, so now that I have my picture on my coated piece of paper here, I'm going to take it downstairs, and the next thing we're gonna need is a piece of wood. Uh, now, I've got a uh, three-quarter inch piece of pine that uh, I cut into some little uh, eight inch by 10 inch uh, little planks. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand them down, make them super flat, or as flat as I can make them uh, within a reasonable amount of time. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get this print right here on the piece of wood. All right, so I've sanded my piece of wood down and now here is where the magic happens. You ready? <laughs> Mod Podge, okay. So all you have to do, and this is super simple, is get a little bit of Mod Podge and you're gonna coat your plank in it. And then here's the trick. If you're printing any sort of text or images, you gotta make sure that your thing, when you like print it, I probably should have said this earlier, you gotta flip everything because it's all reversed. Um, so when you put down your image, it's gonna be the reverse, it's gonna be inverse uh, or the mirror of whatever you printed. So yeah. So I'm gonna go do this really quick, show you how it's done. Uh, I'm gonna put a really, really, really nice uh, even coat of Mod Podge on the piece of wood and then I'm gonna put my image down. I'm gonna press it down really hard. I'm gonna put another piece of wood on top of it to keep it flat and then just let it sit and dry. So here we go. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, um, sponge, sponge brush. Uh, that, I've found that's just the best way to get an even coat of Mod Podge on it. Okay, now we can go. Always remember, if you're ever gonna use this stuff again, you gotta wash it. <laughs> Cause this Mod Podge will ruin these little brushes, they're cheap. 
Doesn't matter where you get them from, they're cheaply made. Okay, so here's where I put my shameless plug. If you or anyone you know is interested in creating stuff and building stuff uh, like I enjoy doing, then you should check out sanctuaryhsv.com. Uh, this is uh, my shop. I uh, run this shop uh, as my personal uh, playground and I want it to be yours too. So uh, if you have any interest uh, or any creativity or interest in technology, circuitry, audio, photography, anything like that, uh, please contact me personally. Uh, you can send me uh, emails, you can send me text messages, you can contact me on social media, um, all that stuff. I want to talk to you, I want to get to know you, and I want to help you create some cool stuff. Okay, that's my plug. <laughs> okay, so we've waited about five hours, and uh, now we're going to check and see how it did. So we're just gonna pull it off. Uh, this is the point where if you have regular paper and you're using regular paper, you would take like a, a sponge or something and kind of rub off the backing of the paper. You'd get it really wet and the paper would kind of disintegrate and the Mod Podge with the ink would stay on. But we're not doing that. We used the wax uh, label paper. Um, and so we're just gonna peel it right off. Here we go. Okay, so it transferred. I can see it there. Uh, the only thing is the, the like creases where the Mod Podge caused the paper to kind of uh, wriggle up a little bit. Um, I haven't entirely figured out how to fix that. If you know any ways to fix that, if I'm too, putting too much Mod Podge on there, not enough. Uh, I've done prints before where they don't do that and I don't exactly know what causes it. I think it's because I don't have enough Mod Podge to get up uh, in the paper when it crinkles up like that, or maybe it's the paper I'm using. I'm not too sure. So if you have any thoughts or comments on that, leave them down below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. What we want to do next is, uh, now that we have the image on the piece of wood, we're going to do a layer of Mod Podge and then a layer of uh, lacquer to uh, really adhere the picture onto the wood and then seal it. So yeah, now we're gonna do that. All right, so it's a new day. My lacquer is all set, and that's it. That's all it takes to print on some wood. I uh, hope you learned something, and we'll check out the rest of the videos. See you soon.